Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to this mini camera basics course where I want to take you from zero to cinematic hero. Regardless whether you're just starting out and know absolutely nothing or you're just trying to brush up your skills, these videos will guide you through everything you need to know to become a self-sufficient content creator going from buying a camera to hitting export. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the gear and equipment used to create content. So first up, gear. The most exciting part for a lot of people. The essentials are your camera, lenses, audio, lighting, stabilizers. Hmm. They're pretty much your core. I'm not going to break them all down, but we'll start off with the camera. This is where you're going to record all of your data onto. And there's almost three different tiers of cameras. You have your point and shoots, your mirrorless or DSLRs, and then your cinema cameras. Assuming you know roughly what type of camera you're looking to buy, the things you want to be looking out for are the sensor size. Is that a full frame or APS-C? This relates to the size of the physical sensor on the camera. Full frame means a larger sensor. That often means better low light performance and a wide field of view. But the APS-C also has its own advantages as well. Camera resolution. Does it shoot in 8K, 6K, 4K, 1080, 720? I wouldn't buy a camera of 720. Just being honest. Autofocus. How good is it? Does it have the eye tracking? You know, can you move around a lot and still stay in focus. Is that all in focus? And finally, arguably one of the most important parts as this will impact every decision you make going forward is the lens mount. You know, is it a Canon with an EF mount? Is it a Sony E mount? Is it a Nikon L mount? I think that's what it is. Depending on what camera system you choose will determine all the lenses going forward and just generally what brand you're going to stick with. So I know all those questions and information is a little bit confusing right now, but you should by the end of this course understand all of them, I hope. Next, moving on to camera lenses. If you're on tier two or above, you're gonna have a camera that doesn't come with a lens. You'd have to buy the body and the lens separately. So when looking at lenses, there's two things you wanna focus on. The focal length, which is in millimeters, and the f-stop. The lower the focal length, the lower the millimeter number, the wider the field of view will be. The higher, the tighter. And then the f-stop is the aperture, which we'll get into in the next episode. The last essential is a media storage card. And in majority of cameras, that's just an SD card. But in the more advanced cinema cameras, they do have CF Express cards or they'll record directly to SSDs. When looking to buy an SD card, the main thing you'll look out for is the read and write speeds. The faster the speeds, the faster the information you can write onto that SD card. And those really are the essentials. Obviously there's loads of bells and whistles you can add to it, you know, stabilizers, different lenses, light, all that other stuff. But to film content, essentially all you need is a camera, a lens to shoot through, and a place to record that information onto. Everything else is just extra. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions at all, please drop them in the comments down below. But with that being said, if you got a lesson, laugh, or light bulb moment from this video, I'd really appreciate it if you drop a like down below. And if you're feeling extra nice, you could hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, I will catch you in the next one. See ya.